230 million years ago, in the Triassic period, the oceans are teeming with life. It is hard to believe that only around 20 million years ago, around 90% of sea life was wiped out by the catastrophic period known as the Great Dying. Since then, the species that survived have repopulated and flourished. In these low seas, a group of reptiles returned to the waters and evolved into the ichthyosaurs, the most fish-like of marine reptiles. And in that short amount of time, they have created the largest marine reptiles to ever take to the seas. Shinosaurus. 15 meters long, 30 tons in weight. They are the size of a humpback whale. In fact, only some species of modern whale will ever get larger than these giants. Even other prehistoric reptile families like the pliosaurs, plesiosaurs, and mosasaurs are nowhere near the size of this Triassic behemoth. And unlike modern baleen whales, Shinosaurus is a hunter. His large tail gives him great acceleration, and his long fins mean they can turn sharply. They also travel together in pods, making the chances of prey escaping them even less likely. However, today they do not need speed or numbers, for their prey are ammonites. These are one of the most common creatures in the oceans, and there are many species. They were so successful, they survived right to the end of the age of dinosaurs. This species is large and relies on its impressive armor to protect their soft insides. A strategy that usually works against most predators. The massive Shinosaurus glide casually through the soul of armored ammonites, which retreat into their shells. This won't help, however, as the larger adults seize the giant cephalopods in their long jaws and crush them open. The sound of cracking shells echoes through the water, and pieces of armor float to the seafloor. The adults consume the soft insides quickly before moving on to the next slow victim. The young Shinosaurus can't crack these ammonites. They don't have the size or jaw power the adults do, and so have to eat the scraps or find something else to feed on. As the pot of giants casually fill their bellies, one youngster goes to the surface to breathe, something all ocean reptiles need to do. As he rises and takes a deep breath, he notices the erupting volcano far inland. This world is still racked by many volcanic eruptions as the supercontinent pushes and grinds deep underground. But beneath the waves, all is peaceful. In fact, the Shinosaurus would never have gotten this large if the seas weren't plentiful. Unfortunately, the time of these giants is short-lived. Another mass extinction at the end of the Triassic will wipe out the massive ichthyosaur species and make way for new ocean reptiles. But never again will they get this large. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down one of the largest animals ever to live, Shinosaurus. Shinosaurus was a massive ichthyosaur that lived in the late Triassic period, between 237 million and 227 million years ago, in the western United States. It grew up to 15 meters long and may have weighed up to 30 tons. Their remains were discovered in 1920 in Nevada and excavated 30 years later, uncovering 37 individuals of varying ages. The appearance of Shinosaurus has changed a lot over the years. Many interpretations have it large and round, almost like a blimp. However, nowadays it is more accurately shown with a more long, streamlined body shape. It is also sometimes shown with a dorsal fin, however no evidence for such a fin has ever been found, unless of course the fin was made of a softer material like cartilage and didn't fossilize. The tail was rather simple compared to other ichthyosaurs, so it may not have been a very fast swimmer. Its four flippers were even in length, which is also unusual, as in most cases, the back flippers are smaller or completely absent. Finally, the snout was long and slender, and while juveniles had teeth in the front part of their snouts, adults had none. 
It is suggested that Chinosaurus were deep divers that mainly fed on squid and other soft-bodied prey that were common at the time. This doesn't mean that they didn't go for other prey, of course, and could have even hunted other ichthyosaurs. Being so adapted to marine life, it is likely that Chinosaurus gave birth to live young. We know that at least some ichthyosaurs did, because of incredible fossils like this one, showing a mother and unborn young frozen in time. It is important to know just how fast ichthyosaurs colonized the oceans. They first appeared at the start of the Triassic, at around a meter long, and in as little as three million years, there were species as large as sperm whales. And from there, they evolved into creatures as large as Chinosaurus. They even produced their largest species, Shoustosaurus, which could have gotten up to over 21 meters, rivaling even modern giant whales. So how did they get so big so quickly? Well, at the end of the Permian era, the Great Dying happened, wiping out more than 90% of life in the oceans. However, once this was over, some species like ammonites quickly recovered, as there was no competition. So when the ancestor of ichthyosaurs took to the oceans, they found an environment with plenty of prey and no other species to compete with for multiple different niches, including that of top predators. The Triassic was a golden age for ichthyosaurs, including species like Sheenosaurus. However, at the beginning of the Jurassic, another mass extinction would rock the planet, and the massive ichthyosaurs never returned, having to compete with other marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and pliosaurs. They were nonetheless one of the most successful families of reptiles. So what do you think of Sheenosaurus? Do you prefer the big blimp design? or like the more practical, streamlined look. Let me know what lesser-known extinct creature you'd like me to cover in a future episode. And until then, thank you for watching.